what's going on? I am Crystal Alexander and welcome to my page. Today we are making um, keto and low carb friendly tzatziki sauce and included with this recipe is a Greek chicken marinade as well. Um, but I marinated yesterday for dinner today. Uh, so we're actually gonna do the tzatziki sauce together and I can show you the marinade. It doesn't look very pretty, um, but that is what we are having for dinner tonight. So I'm trying to get a head start uh, by getting this completed. So I know it's like an odd time. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon, but if you do hop on live, can you please say hello? Let me know you're here. And if you catch the replay, please drop the word replay. And if you're brand new to seeing my face, can you please drop the word new? I would absolutely love to connect. So let's get right to it. Like I said, we're making the tzatziki sauce together. Um, and you don't have to make this in advance. Like I said, I'm just trying to get ahead of it. Uh, and then I'll show you the marinade, but let's do this. So first I have one and a half cups of sour cream that I already portioned out in this bowl here. Uh, and then we're going to add a tablespoon of dill. And we're just going to mix a whole bunch of things together. And then I'll show you the marinade as well. Um, there we go. Okay, so what am I doing? A tablespoon of dill. There we go. We're going to pour that in. <clears throat> and then we're going to do... Um, two tablespoons of lemon juice. And if you like love tzatziki, can you put yes in the comments? It is so good. Um, and I love doing these Greek bowls because it's just the chicken, tzatziki, olives, onion. You can do tomato if you want. Like I love a like one bowl meal, like a burrito bowl, things like that. So this is right up my alley. And I haven't made this in so long. And it is time. <laughs> so two tablespoons of lemon juice. And I have this entire recipe fully written out for you guys already. It's linked in the description of this video. And with the tzatziki recipe is the Greek chicken marinade as well. So it's all there in one spot so that you can make this dish. Um, so you were uh, chicken. We're having Greek chicken bowls tonight for dinner. I forgot to put this lid back on. There we go. Okay, um, and then we're gonna do a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Here we go. Tablespoon. Oops, I just got this because I was out. Okay, tablespoon. Go. I'm gonna set these to the side. Rinse these off. We're gonna do a teaspoon and a half of minced garlic, and then we're gonna add a chopped up cucumber as well, like a small chopped cucumber. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Logan, come here. Someone's just walking by trying to mind their business, and our dog has to lose his mind. can actually utilize this okay so then I chopped up like a smaller cucumber here and then we're gonna put that in here as well and we're gonna mix it all up and I'll show you the chicken that's marinating as well oops I did the same thing I forgot to put this lid back on I think it matters I don't think I would ever actually use this for much else <laughs> So, and if you are on live, maybe tell me, I would love to know what your favorite, like what is your favorite meal for the holidays? Because um, I have a lot of holiday recipes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to them all um, between now and Christmas. So I might just start posting some on my other page. Um, so I'd love to know what your favorite is. Like what's your favorite holiday um, meal? Did I move my camera? I'm um, just in a different spot in my kitchen. <laughs> different spot in my kitchen pizza <laughs> someone said pizza 
I love pizza too. Thank goodness for ketones because we love pizza in this house as well. Okay. So we're just gonna get this mixed up. Last night we had spinach and um, what was it? Sun-dried tomato chicken. We had that in the slow cooker. The night before that I made steaks. <laughs> um, my oldest, he loves, loves steak. So I'm trying to uh, get better at making that. Um, and then tonight we're having Greek chicken. And then tomorrow, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're doing chicken tomorrow, if we are gonna order pizza tomorrow. Fridays are usually uh, hit or miss. Okay, so that looks good. Um, and then I have stuff to make chicken carbonara as well. Um, and then what else do we have this week? Salmon. So I did chicken three days and then I did something else the other two days. So I try to keep it a little bit, you know, switch it up the best I can. Okay. <clears throat> Move all this. So here is the tzatziki sauce. Ooh, barbecue chicken sounds good. And you can use it as a dip too. So good. Let me grab the chicken and show you. <clears throat> and like I said, this full recipe is actually written out uh, in the link in my bio. In the link in my bio and also in the description of this video. If you don't see the recipe or you need help, drop the word recipe and I will uh, get you the link for it anyway. Okay, so this marinade... It doesn't look pretty, but it's ready to be cooked. It is garlic, red wine vinegar, lemon juice, olive oil, sour cream, oregano, salt, and pepper. All written out in its proportions. Um, linked in this video and also in the link in my bio. So it's all right there. So I know it doesn't look very pretty, but this is the chicken marinating ready to go. Uh, and the cool thing about all my marinades is that you can... I could dump this whole thing in the slow cooker if I wanted. I'm gonna just cook it on the uh, stove today. Um, I have made this on the grill. I've made this in the air fryer. You can do whatever is convenient for you with any and all of my marinades that I put together. So that's that one there. I'm gonna put this back. We will have an early dinner tonight because Zach has basketball, but not this early. Um, Okay, so that is it. This is made and ready to go. I'm gonna put it in the fridge and clean up. Um, like I said, the full written recipe is linked in the description of this video. It's also in the link in my bio. If for some reason you can't find it, please drop the word recipe and I will link it for you um, and I will put it there for you. But uh, also, if this recipe sounds delicious to you, please share this video out, drop the word shared, and if you do want to be notified when I am going live, simply tap this video right up here in the corner. You should see three dots. Click those, click follow. Otherwise, that is it for today. Um, again, everything is written out in the description of this video, um, and I'm just making a bowl with this. So I'll have the chicken the tzatziki, I'll do olives, red onion, uh, feta cheese, like I'm gonna make like a Greek bowl um, and go from there. So, chicken tonight. Yum, that sounds good, Tammy. That sounds really good, so. Okay, cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing evening.